Hi everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the second devlog for Project Life. I really appreciate you all for hanging with me on this journey. Thank you so much for the support. I've been working hard on this project and I try to work on it every day to maintain momentum. And chatting with you all encourages me to keep going. So again, thank you. So far with Project Life, it's in the prototype phase, and at the moment I've been focused on character movement, scene switching, and camera switching to help with the side scrolling feel. I also have a little buddy following me around, and he plays a pretty huge part in the overall story. I'm working out some of the kinks on his follow movements, but you know, once I have time to actually animate, I want to give him a flying movement instead of a walking in the air look. But anyway, for a while now, I've been wanting to, you know, have my character pick up an object and set it down, and I'm getting closer to that goal. At the moment, the player can pick up an object by attaching the object to the pans using game creator's triggers and actions. Physics, however, has been a bit of a problem, and I'm currently reviewing, and it's kind of forcing me or making me rethink the whole pick up object approach. But maybe the object doesn't need physics maybe the object can just be placed at a specific spot so i'm kind of thinking these things through i want the player to be able to kind of move an object and place it so that they can maybe gain access or to open a switch or to activate something so either way we'll see how that turns out you know since this is a platformer there probably should be platforms and traps, and that's planned. For the moment, I've been playing with changing the camera angle to assist the player with making jumps. This is probably one of the funnest parts though, so far, because it adds a nice change to the view as the game progresses. Now, in terms of scene switching, um, I have these little yellow golden colored hologram looking things that you see here and they're generally there for testing it's really just to make sure that the room testing or the room changing triggers are working as expected in a later video i'll do a tutorial on creating a simple scene change but more importantly switching to a scene with multiple entrances so generally in my scenes i have a player in a default position out of sight and when the game starts or the scene starts I have a trigger checking a variable for the teleportion or the teleport location. It's kind of like a magic trick, really. Keep an eye out for that if you're interested. But all in all, um, I think I'm making pretty decent progress on this. Um, and uh, what's crazy is that I'm limited, but you know, limits build character. You just got to press through them. Don't let your limits stop you from pursuing your dreams. Sometimes when you have limits, it allows you to focus and forces you to kind of be creative. Maybe think of it as thinking outside the box or maybe cube. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really enjoyed this week's development and I hope you enjoyed the devlog. If you want to be notified of the next devlog or dev tutorial, don't forget to subscribe or join the discord where I'll be posting ongoing progress from time to time. Or if you just want to chat, I'm there. So as always, never give up and keep moving forward.